Hello guys, welcome back to a new part of the Anime Tower Defense series. So in the last part we made you able to equip units. As you can see, we currently have two units inside our units. And if we equip a unit, this one gets removed and gets placed into our equipped units. The problem that we have is when we stop the game now and load back in, you will see that we only have one unit and this unit isn't equipped. So the saved units or the equipped units don't save. And we are going to fix this today. So to fix this, we need to go into the script called unit safe in the Star Wars script service. And we have to make some changes here. So in the save unit functions, we have to pretty much just change this up instead of just doing units we will do all units and equipped units and then we are going to print those here and then in here we put the player key and a table and then we put all units is equal to all units and equipped units is equal to equipped units and that's pretty much what we do So yeah, then we, yeah, we just print it. Then we do spawn the stuff. So then in the load units, we have to also do a bit of stuff. And this will give us the units data. And what we are going to do is we are going to cut this out. And we are going to do if success then, we just do this. And we return units data or a table of all units is equal to a table and equipped units also going to be equal to a table. And then we just copy this and put this in here pretty much. And then this is finished for the load, I think. So then the create units folder, we can pretty much just leave this, I guess, because we don't want to mess anything up here. No, I think it's right. So then in the player edits, we just do, so we get the units, but we want to get the units data. When we get the units data, we do this and then we do four underscore comma unit in units data. And then we do, or in, I should say I pairs, units data dot all units. Do, then we do create units folder for the player, the units, and units oh yeah we should also put inside here we should put something in folder name is a string and the folder name is going to be equal to folder name and then we find first child folder name. And yeah, that's pretty much it, I think. Yeah, so then we can go ahead and finish this off by just copying this, pasting it, and then we just do equipped units. And then we just put equipped units here. So then in the player removing, we do a bit more stuff. We get the player folder, just units. And we name this player units folder. I'm gonna copy it, paste it again. And then I'm gonna do equipped units folder, which is player equal to equipped units. Then we do local all units is equal to a table and local equipped 
unit sequence or table. So then what we are going to do is we do if clear units folder, then go for every unit folder in the player units folder call get children and then we can just go ahead and insert this into the all units and yeah, that's pretty good so then what we want to do is we want to copy the whole chunk put it in here and then say insert this equipped units go up here and then if equipped units folder for everything in equipped units folder i think that's pretty much it and then what we want to do is down here we want to save units for the player the all units and the equipped units so now let's try this out go play you see that there is an i pairs in the table because there is currently no all units but don't worry it still works we just have to leave the game one time it you see it prints two things also i saw we have to go to the leader sets script which is in modules data manager leader sets and we have to also create a units folder not just the equip one but also just the units folder now we will play the game you will see that there is no error and it loaded nothing and we can go ahead and we have nothing in here now when we just do some stuff also let me do something real quick so i'm gonna go to the save units so unit save and we'll play edit i'm just going to print I'm just going to print this data. Oh wait, I'm just going to do print this comma and then the equipped units. So we just see what's going on. As you can see, it printed a table. The first one is always the inventory. The second one, which is currently empty, is the equipped table. So now when we hit play, you will see that our things loaded and it put the same table. Now when we go equip one or two units, you will see that it's put them in our table, in our folder. And when we go uh, stop the game, you'll see that it now prints two tables, three for the inventory and two for the equip. Now when we join the game again, you will see that we have two units in the equipped. Don't worry that there's multiple folders, it doesn't matter. It's just completely irrelevant. Because it always puts them in the same folder, so yeah, there's nothing to be to be worried about. And yes. But we can also fix this if we just go into the unit save and then create unit folder is going to we can do task dot weight 0.1 so we can put this to a weight for child and we turn this up by five then we don't have the task dot weight so we wait for five seconds and then as you can see yeah now we have just one folder so now they don't get generated very well. So we want to fix this. If we go play, again, it probably is the wait for child currently. Let's see it. So if we just put a find first child, then we should see our units again. Yes, but now we have two folders to do. But yeah, it's, it's not a big deal, so we can just leave it but now as you can see our equipped units they don't get put in here and we can easily fix this we're just going to our inventory script and then we want to pretty much copy this whole stuff here and this ends too so just copy the whole thing paste it down here 
and then we change the order to zero because we want them to always stay on top and then we do equipped units so for everything we need equipped units and then i think that's it i really think it, that's it but yeah let's see and yeah well now we got our four units or five units i mean so we got the two equipped units and this starts with a 5c723 and this here this a unit also going to be the same i think so this year they're going to be the this one here or this one it's going to be either one and if you press it it's the e56 and it's the e56 so So yeah, that's pretty cool so this works and i think that's it for the episode thank you for watching and see you in the next video peace